So you've been dating this really great guy and now he's starting to pull away. Here's what you need to do. Stay tuned. Team, I love me, me, me. Welcome back. So you are dating a great guy. Things are going smoothly, right? But you notice that now weeks have gone by, months have gone by. And now he's slowly starting to pull away. And here's what you need to do. Number one, you need to ignore him or leave the poor guy alone. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if a guy notices that you are now starting to ignore him, you are now starting to do your own thing. You are starting to pull back a little bit yourself. Guess what he's going to want to do? He's going to want to know what's been going on with you, why you haven't contacted him. He's looked down at his phones a couple of times. He haven't noticed that it's you. So now it's you who's starting to pull away from him. And now he wants to see what you are doing. It's not counterintuitive, ladies. It is a way to reel your man back in to you. So he starts the chase again with you and you're not chasing him. Number two, you want to get back to doing all of the things that you have been wanting to do, that you love to do, whether it's reading a book, whether it's taking a walk, whether it's taking a bath, horseback riding, hanging out with your friends, all the things that you've been putting back on the back burner in order to make sure that you are building a relationship with you. Now he's starting to pull away. So it's now time for you to get back to you loving you. And that means you doing all of the stuff that you have been doing prior to meeting him or even if you've been dating for a long time. Because ladies, this does not just happen in the dating stage. This is a part of what a man goes through in any portion of your relationship. So whether you're dating or whether you've been um, in a relationship for several months or even several years or even decades, guess what? That pulling away is a part of what men do. So get back to you doing you. Right? You haven't talked to your friend in a while. Call and make a date with your friend. You haven't taken a walk. You know, take that walk. Take the kids out. Go to the park. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the sunshine. Smell the fresh air. Get away from any potential negativity or you getting in your head about whatever he's pulling away from has to do with you. Because every time a guy pulls away, it doesn't have to do with you. Sometimes it might. But every time, it does not have to do with you. So get back to you loving you. Number three, let it be his choice to start pursuing you again. Like an example one, where now you starting to pull away or that's the way he's perceiving it. Now you want him to have the choice to start pursuing you again. If he so chooses to. Because just because he pulls away, he might pull away and be gone for good. But that's better for you. Good riddance. You only want somebody that wants to be around you, that wants to be with you. So if it is his choice to pull away and completely walk away, great. I know it doesn't seem like it's great in the moment because now this one is gone. It's happening again. You got to start all over. Blah, 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 blah. Get out of your head, right? Come here. Come here, sister. Come here. Come on, come on. Get out of your head and understand that you have to let him pursue you. Even if you started off with texting him first or even starting to get the dates uh, organized with you guys. Once he pulls back, you have to let him start chasing you because that is what men do. They hunt and you are what he's hunting for. You are his prey. He wants to pull you back in. So again, get back to doing the things that you want to do and now let him Make a choice to start pursuing you again if that's what he wants to do. But again, even if he doesn't, you're off doing what you want to do. You're off living your life, so it doesn't matter anyway. And if this guy doesn't come back, maybe while you're out there living your life and doing what you want to do, even if you're hanging out with your friends, you're going out and smelling the fresh air, maybe you're running to the guy that actually does want to pursue you. And that way you don't have to worry about, you know, this guy that's moving on with his life. You don't have to worry about it because you are doing the same thing. Finally, number four, you have to understand that men and women, we communicate completely different. So when a man pulls away, you have to understand that this is a part of his DNA. This is a part of his process of getting things under control. Maybe he needs to pull away in order to recenter himself. You want to give him that time to do that. Maybe he's pulling away because there's so many emotions that have been going on between you two. And that is emotion overload for men. So maybe he needs to pull away, get with the guys and do guy things and kind of pull away from you. 
right? So you just have to understand that we communicate completely different. Women want to be up under you. They want to um, get your seek your opinion. They want to understand. They want to, uh, you know, basically just keep talking and keep talking and keep talking. And this is the way that we communicate with one another. But you have to understand that he is not one of your girlfriends. He's your guy. He's your husband. He's your boyfriend. And they do things completely different than we do. So just understand that. And don't have an attitude about it. As I said previously, this is a part of his DNA and he is always going to find time and ways to pull away throughout the course of your relationship. That doesn't mean that he is gone for good. That doesn't mean that he is shutting you out and shutting down. It just means that he needs time to process whatever is going on, whether it's with you, whether it's with work, whether it's with whatever. He needs time to pretty much get a solution Get a solution rolling, whether he includes you or not, whether he includes you or not in deciding the actual conclusion. He might bring it to you. You know, my fiance, he'll think about it. He'll pull away. He'll do his thought process and everything that's going on. And then when he comes back to me, he'll be like, you know what? This is what I was thinking. I want to seek your opinion on it. So maybe that's what he's doing. All right. I love you so much. And thank you so much for listening. Ladies, take this knowledge and apply it to your lives. Don't use the attitude. Don't take the attitude. Just understand that this is what men need to do. And again, if he pulls away, do this, right? Know that you are worth somebody pursuing you. Know, know that you are worth somebody chasing you. Know that you don't have to chase the guy. Because the guy that wants to be with you, when he does pull away, he won't do it permanently. Know that. Now, if this is your very first time here to I Love Me, 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 I want you to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me, 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 I'm supplying you guys with the tools and tips in order to have a healthy, happy, romantic relationship while we work together in decreasing the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I love you so much and there is nothing that you can do about it. Mwah.